Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we've been asked to simplify here. And I just want to reassure you that this question is a lot easier than it looks. The problem is I know as a math teacher and the GED knows um, that uh, students often panic at the sight of a fraction. It's, you guys are like so scarred by adding and subtracting fractions like we did in third grade that you lose your snot every time you see one. So I want you to just breathe through this because it turns out this is one of the simplest types of problems that could appear on the uh, no calculator section of the GED. I know it looks scary, but let's take a look at just how uh, simple this problem actually is. So first, notice what I have going on here. I have this entire fraction in parentheses, so they'd like me to take this whole number, 3 fifths, this entire number, I should say, and raise it to the second power. Now, what does it mean to raise something to the second power? Well, a power, an exponent, one way to think about it is repeated multiplication. So I'm going to rewrite this in what's called expanded form. 3 fifths to the second power means to multiply 3 fifths by itself. Now, once again, before you panic, remember that it's super duper simple to multiply fractions. They're only tricky to add and subtract. When you multiply, you can literally just multiply across the top, the numerators, 3 times 3 is 9, and multiply across the bottom, the denominators, 5 times 5 is 25. Uh, multiplication is an act of scaling, and so it is just that easy. Uh, you just multiply a numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and I do get 9 25ths. Now a lot of students will say to me, now Kate, um, shouldn't I try to reduce it? Uh, shouldn't I try to reduce 9 and 25? But I actually say that um, as a math, uh, I, I don't want to say expert, but as a math person, I know that 9 25ths is not going to reduce. Here's how I know. I know what 9 is made of. I just created 9 out of 3 times 3. 9 was entirely made out of 3s. Same thing with 25. I know what factors 25 is made of. Uh, 25 is made of 5 times 5 multiplying. There are no factors shared by the top and the bottom. You know, all I have up top is 3s. There's no 3s on the bottom. All I have on the bottom is 5s. There's no 5s on the top. Uh, if there were no common factors when I was multiplying it together, there's not going to be any common factors to reduce out at the end. And so my final answer is just 9 25ths. Now, if you're super duper lazy, you could turn off the video right now if that makes sense to you, but I'm lazy, I'm a mathematician, you should be able to see what happened here. Uh, when I ro rose three-fifths to the second power, what I ended up doing was basically squaring the top of the fraction and squaring the bottom. Super duper simple. All right, so what is three-fifths squared? It's just nine twenty-fifths. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.